Hi there everybody. I'm just getting the chat up so I can see it. As usual, I'm on my phone and we'll use the laptop for comments. Because I just don't think it works. <laughs> I don't think the laptop works anymore for live streams. Hi, Iman. Yay, you're first. Hi, Shannon. Oh, Shannon, thank you so much. I'll just get you situated. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. I've got my reindeer antlers on. <laughs> Otter, my doll. Oh, my goodness, Otter. I've got all your stuff here. You have warmed my heart this Christmas. And I've been telling my family. There's my lovely Arab. Hello, sweetheart. Otter, I got your package yesterday. Completely out of the blue. Had no idea you were sending me anything. And your letter made me cry. But in a nice way, I didn't cry because I was sad. I just cried because I felt the joy and the love and the, the festive cheer and everything. I'm going to cry again. Just in your letter. Wait a minute. Hi Shannon, Leon. I want to know what all your festive plans are today. But Otter, honestly, you, your letter really touched a note in my heart. And I thank you so much for that. Aries, hello, sweetheart. Um, so, Otter sent me a package. Please check Otter's, Otter ASMR's channel out. She's in the chat. Just go to her name and right click and three dots will come up and it'll be go to channel. Go to her channel. She does fabulous videos. So the first thing that she sent me, and it's so me. I showed my ex-husband today and he went, that is just you, that pain. Look at this for a pain. <laughs> Look at this. How fabulous is this pain? This pain is everything. <laughs> Look at it. It's just... Oh. And do you know, it makes cool, listen to the sounds. I can see this been in a few videos. Hear that? That is just so me. <laughs> That's the first thing. Oh, thank you so much. Look, I've made myself extra festive today. I've got really got lots of glitter on, which has actually been on my eyeball a few times. I've had to go and pick the glitter out, but so I've got the glitter on and I've got glitter lips and I've got my unicorn highlighter going there and I've got my new throw look at my new throw with my dogs on it with antlers it's just all fit and of course this and this matches look uh -huh. see I'm coordinated Co coordinated so <laughs> the next thing Otter sent me and, do you know, I think I'm going to keep this up all year round. Over there, next to Africa, is this guy. Look at this. Look at and he's got actual feathers here. Look at that. Can you see? He is so gorgeous. Look at his eyes. I just love him to bits. Oh, there's my lovely Ralph. Hello, Ralph, my darling. Shannon, I'm excited for Santa. Thank you, Otter. Yeah, Taylor. Isn't it just gorgeous? I absolutely love it. I love owls anyway, but my goodness. <clears throat> 
and then there's these that she sent me and they're they're so fabulous and I've never seen any other decoration like them look at these snow shovels see I, I didn't even want to put them on my tree just because I wanted to sh they're going on my tree after this though there's my antlers moving look at look <laughs> They are so unique. I've never seen any any decorations like these. Look at these. They are so wonderful. Love them. And then there's these beautiful things. And I'm going to find a display next year to put these in. I'll make sure I'm making them a feature. And it's two turtle doves. Wait a minute, this one's rebellious. Look at these turtle doves. And they so cute. And I'll take these in and show you the tea that she sent. She sent a bag of tea and Santa's pants. That sounds like the bin men. That's weird for a Saturday. That's the bin men sound. Oh, there's my Amanda. Amanda, have you seen the beautiful things? I've been Amanda, look at this pen. I want hair like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Taylor. Taylor, I was actually thinking about doing some sort of video with these shovels because they're just so gorgeous. Look, I could even do like a, a camera brushing or something. Manda, look! But there's a few things I want to talk to you about. But what I really want is, I want you to tell me what you are doing for Christmas because I'm just, I, I'm just a nosy person and want to know. <laughs> no, I'd love to know what your plans are with your family and everything. But there's, Amanda, you'll get a laugh out of this. Um, I've had a little penguin. It's usually been around about the fire area and it's been in like um, packaging. And it's for Pass the Parcel, a game called Pass the Parcel. And I've had it for years, but I've never opened it. So I decided to open it the other day. And the gifts weren't bad gifts. There was, um, like, a, a Rubik's Cube was inside it. And there was some plastic bracelets and ring and other things like that, right? <laughs> but there was also... If you've seen Christmas crackers, there was the Christmas cracker hats and and joke things, right? These things inside it that are jokes. So a few of them are just strange. I, I've picked out just four here to talk about. Right, what one's that? Right, that's the last one. Let me see. Right, there's and there's a few. Taylor, that sounds absolutely awesome. Hi, the buff carrot. Camera shoveling ASMR, yes. So I've, I've put out four of these things just to tell you. <laughs> right, the first one is wrap up a shoe. Wrap up your shoe with toilet paper and give it to the person next to you as a Christmas present. Right, there it is. I hope you can see that. Hmm. Hi, Amy in Texas. Right, that's just a hmm. That's really, that was really weird, right? And I was like, that's a, that's a strange one. Tess, Merry Christmas to you, darling. The next one was <clears throat> randomly sing a Christmas song every time someone says Christmas. It was like, oh. but there was another one. It was um, it was sing a Christmas song without any words. Right, so they were weird, and then we got on to the really weird ones. This one says, pretend you're Santa, and get people to sit on your lap and tell you what they want for Christmas. That was just weird to me. <laughs> 
Maybe it's just a Scotland thing, but just to say, right, come on. Sit on my lap and tell me what you want for Christmas. It just, mm. right, So that's weird. That's, that's just weird. And the last one, I was laughing with my ex-husband when he was in with this one. In fact, do you know what he said, Manda? Your father said he would sit next to me, right? This is the next one. It says, the person next to you is a Christmas cracker. Pull them. <laughs> now, in my day, that meant something else. Maybe I'm just an old lady now. I don't know. But that is just weird. And these are for kids. <laughs> These are, hmm. So they're, they're quite questionable. <laughs> oh, Jamelia, hello, my darling. Oh, my goodness. They're just weird. Don't you think they're just, hmm. Redneck, do you know, I would get on great rednecks because I think I've got inner redneck in me. I love all that, all that kind of stuff. But they were just a bit weird. Pull the person that... See, my, my mind goes in the gutter straight away. As soon as you say something like that, that's where my mind goes. Straight to the gutter. Terrible. So, <laughs> I wanted to share them with you. My glasses. Do you know, I've got a million pair of glasses, but these are the only ones I can find. And I can't drive with these on. I drive without glasses. But to see right in the rain, I've got to put them on. But thank you very much. Manda, that was really weird. Do you like my antlers? And the Manda look. So I'd cut us off there. That's the bin man. And now I'm in a panic thinking maybe my bin should have went out. Oh well, I'll just go to the dump. I'll end up just going to the dump. Uh -huh. So I'm extra, extra sparkly today for you all. And I've got my, my earrings and my wreath earrings. And look at this. I got that, that was £6 out of Asda, so we're doing not bad, so look at, I mean, my goodness, but the letter the otter sent me had me in tears, because it was just so lovely. Oh, I think, Jamelia, thank you so much. You know, I just wanted to be festive. I've got, do you know, I'm going to, I'm going to take these in my kitchen in a minute. I'll show you the other present the otter sent me and I'll show you my table. Now it's not like an extravagant table that's probably Buckingham Palace and you know fancy things. It's just that it's just a normal Scottish person's table with some Christmas crackers. I'll show you anyway. I'll show you where I'm sitting having my dinner. And I'll show, you, I'll show you my turkey. There we go. We'll go in my fridge. <laughs> Your family's raffling a box of gifts starting December the 1st. You need to do a good deed. And write it down with every good deed you get a ticket. <gasps> Otter, that is a fantastic idea. What a fantastic... See, I love things like that. I love things like that. And I love games. And I love the, the parlour games, like you video, the film, and guess what? So we're all going to be doing um, Monopoly this year, the Glasgow edition of Monopoly. So we're going to be doing that. And usually what happens is, you're in Falkirk, you're where my mum and dad stay then. My mum and dad stay in Falkirk. Christmas charades. I love that kind of stuff. So this year we're going to be doing Monopoly. But what we're also going to do is take turns each in opening a present. 
normally in my house we're all opening presents at the same time. There's wrapping paper getting flung up in the air. You know, we're all we're all into it. So this year what I want to do is each one of us take a turn each and open it so we can be focused on that person while they're opening that and then the next person. And it'll take a bit longer, but it'll be exciting. Oh, see, I love... I, see, I, I'm on Pogo Games. I go on that, that website's Pogo and play games that way because there's not really many games you can play yourself. <laughs> and my... my my 17-year-old son sure as hell doesn't want to play games with his mum. So I go, I play pogo games. I like that. Well, thank you very much, Isaac. I'm going to, I'm going to take you in and show you. I'm going to take you in and show you my, um, my stuff. My turn. Now... See, Taylor, I love playing all the kind of games. Now, there's nothing fancy in my house. It's just, like, basic. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I'll turn you around so you aren't just staring up my nostril. If I can do it. There we go. There we are. That's us now. You just don't want to be staring up my nostril. That's for the goddamn sure. Let's go. Oh, I'll show you my bedding. My green screen. Look at my new bedding. This is my Christmas bedding. <laughs> so, oh, there's my picture of Marilyn. I don't know if you have seen this. Look at that beautiful picture of her. She's got beautiful feet and everything. Love her. Right, this is my. This is it. What? A bit of tinsel. And this is a. I made this to put the knives and forks in. And then we've got the. What? Cola in a bottle. These Christmas crackers have got like toys in them, but these ones have got magic tricks. So each one of these has got a magic trick in them. So that's what I'm having. Look, there's my veg. My broccoli. Lots of Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Look, this is what Otter sent me. How cute is that like? And it's loaded with tea. Look, Otter, I've got it next to my kettle. ASMR with that. See? Isn't that so cute? So, right. There's the table. <clears throat> Look at all the unhealthy drinks, but that's not spirits. It's just cola and iron brew and lemonade. And then in the fridge. Dun, dun, dun. In the fridge. There's my... I can't get it out now. My turkey. This is what we're having with smoked ba smoked sticky bacon. Can't even see it, can you? It's in there anyway. The turkey. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh. And then we always have our pigs and blankets. And oh, 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 we have little sausages and we have pork and sage stuffing. And what else do we have? And pork sausage meat. Pull that down there. And then we've got cheese, and we've got oh, a strawberry trifle, cream. 
this is a lot of vegan stuff up here for my son, but these are mine. <laughs> Peesh. Oh, guys, it's all happening. It's all fun out there. Look, he's got a lot of corn stuff. Look, I've got a lot of naughty, naughty stuff. But soups and squirty creams and and then in here, look, oh, black forest gato. And this is a limited edition Vienetta. It's chocolate orange flavour and just normal vanilla flavour. Oh my goodness. And I've always got some bread in my freezer because sometimes if it snows in Scotland, the world goes crazy and they're all out to buy bread. So I always have a couple of them in my freezer. I've got bread. I've got my son's vanilla vegan ice cream. That's my son's mixed root vegetable fries. So help, and that's mine, breaded mushrooms. <coughs> oh. And, well, doggies are well stocked. They've got that, and then I've got birdie food. And then way too much in here, way too much. I don't even know what I've got in here. Brazier rice, beans, sweet corn, so we're well and true. This is vegan, where am I? This is vegan pesto. I didn't even know that normal pesto wasn't vegan, but apparently it's not, so we've got that. So, there we go. There we are. So, that's all. That's me sorted. Look, my seat. Look, my seat, there's all these seats, but look, the guy's off my seat, come on, right down guys, see they've got to be on my seat, <laughs> oh, well they've kept it warm, nice and warm. <laughs> Bryony, I know that people go crazy for loaves of bread. The babies, Manda. Oh, Laura, no, they're babies. Laura, you've got kitty cats. I love cats as well. And my brother doesn't watch my videos, so his cat this year, normally I get a cat stocking for his wee cat, but this year I got him this pull out cat tunnel <laughs> it's like a big long tunnel and at the end of the tunnel it's got like a pom-pom that the cat can bat so i'm hoping she likes that yeah see i love cats as well i absolutely i'm a cat girl as well i love cats otter if it's your cat got the see i'm ho i can't wait for my brother not for him to open his own present that i got him but I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing what the cat thinks of her present because I love my brother's cat. And um, when he goes on holiday, I cat sit. And we spend, I go up there twice, when I cat sit, I go up twice a day and I spend about an hour each time just sitting with the cat, playing with the cat, feeding the cat, making sure it's little trees clean, all the rest of it. So I've, I've got a kind of bond now. And the cat's name's Flash but I call her flashy. <laughs> so she's just, and she's such a beautiful baby and she's so gentle and she's got huge big eyes. She's just gorgeous. Curly Grace, very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you. See, we don't say Happy Holidays in Scotland, so I don't know if I'm saying something wrong and saying Merry Christmas these days. Because you're, you're, you're frightened these days to say Merry Christmas and stuff. But I've always just said Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So, and I, I, if that offends people, I'm very, very sorry. But that's just always the way I've said it. 
and that doesn't mean any harm to any, anyone, you know. A new year, in fact, we say in Scotland, we say Hogmanay in Scotland. December, you say Merry Christmas too, see. But I know, but some people don't. And you're, you're, I think nowadays you're frightened to say anything in case you see something that someone takes the wrong way. And if I ever do say something that you take the wrong way, I, I apologise. I don't mean to say anything like that. Oh my goodness, they're the same letter. Oh, Taylor, that's so cool. See, I've always said touch wood doesn't happen anytime soon, but if my babies, well, when my babies go, I, I would probably get a, a cat. If I froze on my computer, I froze. Have I froze? See, look, I froze there. Mm -mm. Can somebody write in the chat if I froze? Oh. I'm not frozen. I haven't froze. See? See the laptop showing me I froze. My son now my son's doing cyber security. He should really cyber security in my bloody laptop because it's just it's, see, I can't even, as I said, I've got to do live on my phone because the laptop, there's my camera, it won't let me. It's crazy. You see my, <laughs> my, <and I> know, <laughs> my lush perfume, I've got my American cream and then I've got this one here. Oh. Lord of Misrule, love it. I've not got as much lush as you though, baby. But I have got my white musk, which I also love for the body shop. That's wonderful. Oh, and I've got Tigger. And I've got anti-diarrhea tablets, which is probably too much information, but there you go. And I've got my pen, my lovely friend sent me, but it's like an injection for Nurse Blueberry. <laughs> Oh dear. <clears throat> so I've completely froze on my laptop. My laptop has just aft up. I need to get your brother to look into that. Hmm. Not froze here. Ticker. See, I've got a tattoo. I don't know if it's that, that. Do you know, I always forget what side. Try refreshing the page. I've got a tattoo. I don't know what side it's on, but it's thicker than he's bouncing on his tail. It's on my back somewhere. I always forget which side my, my face tattoo is on as well. My favourite thing to do at Christmas is the Christmas dinner. I love having my Christmas dinner. Oh... And I love the leftovers because what I do is the leftovers I just cover in um, foil and then later on that night, or even Boxing Day, this is just how bad that I am. Boxing Day, breakfast time, forget the cereal, a couple of slices of bread, buttered, and then heat up the stuffing and things like that, but I just have the turkey just put on extra turkey just put on and then I heat up the stuffing and, and the the gravy and bread sauce and potatoes and then come in and mash it all down on the piece we call it a sandwich a piece mash it all down cut it and sit here and just eat it at 10 o'clock in the morning but I'll be going on my diet again new year Cause I need to... <laughs> Wait, you see this? What's going on? You see? Oh, to there's your letter there. I keep reading that. I'm a sad, sad person. I keep reading that letter. It makes me feel better. 
they'll continue to do that. So that's what I do. <laughs> the 25th early Christmas Eve. Not if we can get them to shut up. Come in, guys. Come here. See, I've got to be forceful. Come over here. Who's doing it? It's them, look. She's the instigator. You can tell she's the instigator of the whole problem there. The whole problem was her. Yes, the 25th we celebrate it. But when I stayed with my mum and dad's, they always had a tradition that we had an Irish coffee on Christmas Eve. I've not had an Irish coffee in years. And it's just like, just coffee, like regular instant coffee, fill up the cup and then he would put like a cap of whiskey in it and then some of the whipped cream on top. And that was always like a, a Christmas Eve tra tradition. But this year, Christmas Eve, I am going to watch the Polar Express. I've not watched it. And it's been hard not to watch it because I'm desperate to watch it. But I love to watch the Polar Express on Christmas Eve. So I'll be watching that. Hi, Colin, Mary. Sorry if he's a Volk Madsen. Oh, come in. Oh, your doggies are on a diet. <laughs> Oh, Merry Christmas, Taylor, and I hope you have a wonderful time. Yes, the Polar Express is just like magical, isn't it? <gasps> You've been watching it, Curly Grace? See, I've been trying not to. But what I did watch the other day that's probably my favourite Christmas movie, apart from the Polar Express, is National Lampoons. Chevy Chase, it just cracks me up. Cousin Eddie is just everything, isn't he? I, I would love to have a relative like Cousin Eddie. <laughs> he's just hilarious. Uh, for, the, for the minute he's in the scene to the minute he goes out, out the frame, he's just absolutely cracks me up. With his white shoes and and his son's in the carnival. And, and oh, it, it's just... And the dog called Snot, the dog's called Snot, choking under the table. It's just the the best. <laughs> Christmas Court Chronicles, Mary, I watched that the other day and loved it. Absolutely loved it. If you haven't watched the Christmas Chronicles on Netflix, oh my goodness, Kirk Russell's in it. And, well, I've got a thing for him because I always fancied him when he was Snake Plissken, Escape from... New, escape to New York. Loved them in that. Yes. And I had a huge smile on my face watching that movie. Uh, and the reindeers were so cute. I don't want to give it away, but the reindeers are just so cute. They really are absolutely cute. Come up here. Look, see. See what's happening now. <laughs> what's going on? What's all the racket? What's happening? Hmm? What's going on? What's happening in this house? Hmm? What's going on, wee baby? Well, I guess I'll need to do my live stream like this. <laughs> yeah, it's Otter. It's on Netflix. It's so wonderful. Brian, I was going to do a video um, after Christmas, a New Year's, well, I, you know, I'll let the cat out the bag for us, right, but I think Mrs. Doubtwater is going to be doing your makeup for New Year. You know, Mrs. Doubtwater is going to be doing a bit of hug me knee makeup for you, like hug me knee's New Year's Eve. And I don't know if it'll be the kind of makeup that you're used to, but Mrs. Doubtwater's going to make sure you stand out this New Year's Eve. So that'll be <laughs> that'll be up on the channel before New Year, anyway. And I know I, I normally put a video out today, but it's just been so busy. 
as you can all imagine it's been you know all grown going on presents and having to pay bills oh. and the prescript had to make sure we had our prescriptions in in case the doc because the doctor's shot and I'm on my hormone tablet I need that and I woke up with these look at these strange scratches I have no idea where I got them from absolutely no idea where they came from but I'm always suspicious when there's like a scratch and it's like completely down your vein. I keep thinking the aliens have took me during the night. They come down and took me. Yes, Otter, it's like a whirlwind. Amanda, look, they have. I have no idea. Carly Gray. It's just, I think everybody's the same at this time of year. We've all got things. To, oh, Amanda, look what's here. That's my grand lizards. <laughs> That's my grand lizard because I've got a grand lizard. And he's Amanda's baby and he's I, a Bosque monitor. And he's a, probably the lengthy me. He's a big boy. And he needs his munchies, we call it. And that's his, his dinner. So he might have some money in there to get some munchies. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people, were, we're all in the same boat. With, especially at this time of year, we've all had things to do. Bills to pay. Places to go. So it's been it's been difficult, but as I say, there I have got um, a video to come up with Mrs. Doubtwaters over, and she's going to be doing your hug me nay. It is hug me nay makeup, and you know, you will you will stand out from everyone else probably at the the hug me nay do. <laughs> Oh, he's sleeping in his bed to be a hot water bottle. Can you believe he's the most pampered lizard on earth? My grand lizard. <laughs> oh, He's so pampered, it's unbelievable. I've never known a lizard to be as pampered in my life. But they do, see, people think, oh... I remember before my daughter got, like, she had a gecko and, and a snake and, and her lizard. And I was thinking, oh, they, they, they don't seem cute at all. But see, once you get to know them, they end up your babies. And they end up, they love you. They're, he's, he's actually like a little dog. He knows you and he comes over for a cuddle and a clap and a heat. And he, he knows his own place, you know, his own house. It's just, it's, it's just amazing. See, there you go. He wouldn't come out of his bed, so my daughter took the water over to him. Amanda, that's it. <laughs> Hi, Cora. <laughs> that's it. See, they get you wrapped around their little paw. They're wrapped around, I'm wrapped around they two's paw. Whatever they see, I jump it. <laughs> yeah, Curly, see, that's it. Some people say, oh, I'm not a cat person or a dog person. But see, if they got a dog or a puppy or a, a, a kitty cat, they would end up loving it. Oh, uh, Bryony, I remember I was... Um, I wasn't really terrified of spiders, but I didn't like them. But me and my husband went to this place and had tarantulas. <clears throat> and there was this tarantula called the chili rose spider. And it was like way bigger than my hand. And I actually held it on my hand. And it came onto your hand and it would just stop to get the, the temperature of you. And it was so light and delicate. And I remember thinking, why am I scared of this tiny, light, wee tiny thing like that? And since then, 
I could wake up in the middle of the night and there could be a spider on my wall and I would just look at it and go back to sleep. You know, the, the, the only thing that I'm terrified of is wasps. Bees, I'm still kind of scared of, but I'm not terrified But wasps. Ooh. Hi, Rana. Snakes freak you out, Mary. But, see, before my daughter got a snake, I, you know, I didn't think I would be too keen on them. But again... If, if you do get one, you end up loving it and, oh, it's so cute and, you know, you see it playing with things in its tank and you automatically get to, to really love it. Shadell, I hope I'm saying your name right. Hello. Yes, otter. They do, spiders will eat flies and anything like that. Yeah, Amanda, I remember Amanda's snake used to play on her shoelace. <laughs> Just to coil around the shoelace in the tank. You know, they get to, to do things and you end up loving them. You do. Well, I hope you are all going to have the most fantastic Christmas and a great new year. I'll probably be on before New Year live. Um, but in the meantime, as I said, there'll be a, a video put up with old Mrs. Doubt Waters over again. Who knows, but she's, she'll probably have stories to tell. Probably. I'm not sure. But I'm excited for Christmas. Oh, Curly Grace, see that touches that touches my heart so much. I love yous and I hope yous are all safe. I worry about yous. I'll I'll give you a, a, a yesterday I was kind of freaking out. My ex husband comes to the house. I've got all the cousins, um, not my cousins, the kids' cousins, my nieces and nephews, Christmas presents, and he had come down to collect them. And there's a road just down from me, and it's a dual carriageway. And people do terrible speeds on it, but the, the speed is 50 mile an hour, and that's at the best of time. But I know, going to the gym every morning, you've got to do about 40 on that road, because you're going down the road, and all of a sudden, there's a sharp turn, and you don't see what's up the other side of the hill until you're actually in that turn. And sometimes the traffic can be all the way back. And when he came to the house yesterday, he said the whole road was shut down with the police on both sides. So that's that's been a, a traffic accident. So it's obviously been someone doing way too fast on that road. And I'm thinking people aren't thinking about they're driving like they normally would. They're thinking about the kids' Christmas and the Christmas dinner and so-and-so's present and money and bills and all the rest of it, and they're not concentrating on the road. So if you're a driver, please put all that out the car before you step in your car and concentrate on the road because there's crazy people out there driving just now going way too fast, cutting in, not stopping at traffic lights, cutting you off, etc. Plenty of time for whatever journeys you've got to do and just keep everything out the car until you park the car and then start thinking everything, please. Because that worries the hell out of me. It really does. And when my husband told me that, first thing I'd done was going to Police Scotland I know uh, that seems like a morbid thing, but the first thing I had done was to go into Police Scotland to check. It wasn't MD. I, MD, I knew there was no story up because it frightens. Fright, it really does frighten me. 
The road was cut. Oh, there you go, my daughter's on it. A petrol lorry had tipped over. The road was covered in petrol. Can you imagine someone having a cigarette in their car and just flicking their, their cigarette out? Oh my goodness. See, that, that kind of thing really, really worries me. I don't want to drive my car. and Well, I've got a pantomime on Christmas Eve. And then that'll be me until after Christmas. Because I can't, I can't, I can't deal with that. I cannot deal. <gasps> the tank came right off the lorry. That's shocking and terrifying. I wonder if they got all that off the, the road. And all it takes is... Now, I have seen a few times someone's exhaust pipe hanging down and scraping off the road. All you need is for that to go down that road and the, the scrape for it ignite. And... See? That's what your dad said. Your dad had to come round the, the other way to get here, Amanda. That whole road was shut off. But people are going way too fast down that road. Way too fast. You know, for the kind of, because that's the kind of road you go, it's a 50 mile an hour, but people do 70 easy. And then it's a straight road and then it cuts like that. So you can't see what's up the hill until you're actually there. And sometimes the, the traffic's backed up right until then. You've no chance, no chance of stopping. See, it must have been bad, Amanda. It must have been bad. Oh, Brian, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and New Year. And stay safe. It is a bad road. And it's scary. And the, the first thing... The first thing I think of when I hear is that is Czech Police Scotland. It's, it's nobody I know. Because that's the first thing you think is, oh, where is everyone? Where is all the family? You know, and it's, it's someone's... It's somebody's family. You know, if there, there's a accident and that. I mean, a few years ago, I seen an accident on that road and it was, it was someone round a lamppost. And it didn't even look like a car, I swear to God, it didn't even look... It was just like a couple of lumps of metal in the road. And that was like the remains of a car. You know, and it was... The, the lamppost was bent over. And I can't get that vision out of my head, because that's someone going home for their Christmas and thinking about their kids. That's how I say, please keep all the thoughts out of your car. As soon as you go in your car, get your car mode on. Watch everything, mirrors, 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 look everywhere, you know, speed. Oh, Eva. Eva's a beautiful name. Bye, everyone. Oh. Eva's a beautiful name for Christmas time, isn't it? Christmas Eve. Oh, well, I'm going to go anyway. I've got a couple more presents to wrap. So I'll probably put on some Christmas music. Oh, Otter, you're going to... Otter, thank you so much for your beautiful presents. I love them all. I love, look at this. I mean, I can't go over this pen. I can't go over... And even my ex-husband said, that is so you. <laughs> and that is how should me. But, you know... I'll keep it out because it makes, listen. It makes great sounds, which I love. And these are going on my tree. I'm trying to escape me. <laughs> Look at these. So these are going to go on my tree. So I'll need to go. But thank you again, everyone, for stopping in and saying beautiful things to me. I wish you all an absolute wonderful Christmas, stay safe and I'll see you all again next week before New Year, I'll be on before New Year 
but have a wonderful Christmas. Bye, everybody. Mm, it's a cool fucking.